talking about DU. DU on a sprinkler head, if you get anywhere near 75%, that's distribution uniformity, that's how that one sprinkler head works. You get somewhere near 75%, okay, that's a great, great head. You take a great sprinkler head at 75%, and you put it in a great designed irrigation system, we already know that we can get to 90%. Water efficiencies, 93%, 95%, okay? That's what we're looking for on every single system. Here's the MP rotator. Here's the Toro precision nozzles. You got the Rainbird rotary nozzles. These are all super efficient sprinkler heads because they're evenly matched precip rates. These are already done for us. It's not like your gear drive rotor. They're all available in radiuses from about five foot to 27 foot. You're gonna use less water, like up to a third. This has a precip rate of half an inch an hour. Same exact precip rate as a gear drive rotor. So now you can mix this spray head with the gear drive rotor on the same system because their precip rates are the same. Okay? Cool opportunity. So now instead of having a gear drive rotor shoot all the way across three areas and back and everything, you can put this on and get that smaller area taken care of on the same system. So you got a precip rate of half inch an hour. What's the, st what's the standard precip rate of a spray nozzle? Fixed arc spray, one and a half inches an hour. This is three times more efficient. So on stretched or zones that have pressure problems, this is a great retrofit because they use that much long, uh, less water. How many spray heads do you see on systems? You know, I, I see systems pop up and there's 40 spray heads on it, especially in medians. It's like Whoa! How many? You start counting them and you go, man, that's got to have a four inch main sitting underneath it to get the water all the way down there. Super, super inefficient systems. A lot of times they're so inefficient, by the time you get to the other end, there's no water. Okay, so let's say there's no water at the other end because we've got great pressure here, but by the time we get all the way down there, we don't have any pressure or volume. Okay, because they didn't pipe size. That's a whole nother class. But anyhow, they don't have any pressure down at the other end, so what can we do? On a spray system, if we just go ahead and put PRS stems in, pressure regulating stems, now the pressure here, instead of being 80 and it being 10 down at the other end, now it's 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, and you stretch that pressure down to the other end. Let's go ahead and put something on now that instead of uses an inch and a half of water an hour, only uses half an inch of water. Now we just retrofitted that system and it balanced that whole system and made it right. Okay, this is great for retrofit systems that are stretched. These are great products for that. They always, they, when they originally came out, they came out for new, it, new install, new install, new install. It's like, wait a minute. These are retrofit issues right here, all solved with one. And not one of these do you have to pull out a shovel to fix. It's an internal gut change. If we're gonna do the pressure regulator and we're gonna do the nozzle, you might as well put the check valve in the bottom. And it's an easy, you just go along and you gut cans. And you just retrofitted a whole system and the water savings you'll see on the next slide, or on the ne and this afternoon, huge, huge water savings.